Just over two weeks until the anticipated Soul Bloom Music Festival at Discovery Park in Sacramento, there are growing questions. Some fans are still waiting to receive their tickets. I would hope to have some like confirmation of like what's going on before I actually have to like get on a plane. Right now, the festival's website says it will send wristbands to, uh, to people to get in closer to the start of the festival, but the clock is ticking. Yeah, those who are worried about their ticket status say that they can't reach organizers for the details, and they'd like that. Case Area 3's Leanne Denyer tried to reach, to, uh, to reach out to them today. No luck, and Leanne, you also talked to people who are supposed to be flying in from out of state for this thing, so how are they feeling? Well, they're frustrated and they aren't sure what they're supposed to do about their flights and hotel reservations. They told us they just want to know if the festival is going on as planned and for organizers to respond to their questions. The fifth annual Soul Bloom Music Festival is scheduled to take place in Sacramento's Discovery Park, May 3rd, 4th and 5th. But those who bought tickets say they're still waiting on those wristbands and information. It's giving that it's being postponed and nobody is letting us know. According to a Sacramento County spokesperson, organizers of the R&B Festival have the permits. But with just over two weeks until opening night, some tell us they're baffled by the lack of communication and wondering if the festival is even still on. Not really sure what's going on. Not really sure if we're even going to get an answer. We talked to Ari Sales from South Carolina and Carissa Streckfuss in New York, both planning as of now to come in from out of state for the festival. Nothing has been said or commented on in regards to like, if we're even getting our tickets sent out, what's going on? Streckfuss says her concern started a few weeks ago when she noticed the festival stopped posting on its social platforms. We are two weeks out. Like if there needs to be an announcement made, it needs to be made now versus like keeping everybody in the dark as to like what you're doing. KCRA 3 has made several attempts to reach Soul Bloom organizers by phone and email this week, but have not heard back. Sales tells us she's tried to reach out too, with no luck. If they do postpone, I'm not going to be upset about it because I understand that things happen. That's okay. That's like things happen. However, that doesn't just give you the right to just completely ignore everybody. This year marks the first year the festival is scheduled to be three days long instead of two. Sales still hoping it happens. I think that flying from Charlotte to Sacramento to see them is like crazy enough. And it's like, oh, my God, I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. But it's really frustrating at the fact that there's no communication. And it's just say something, please. So a county spokesperson tells us that Soul Bloom handles all of its own logistics. So we can see that headliner SZA still has Soul Bloom listed on her tour schedule online. But a schedule posted for Jordan Ward, who was scheduled to play Soul Bloom Saturday, May 4th, now says he'll be in South Africa that day. We'll send it on back to you. All right. We'll follow this and see where it leads. Thanks, Leanne.